One of the great parallels, and I'm not certain how much of it is intended, of the film is how it mirrors the ways in which Black families oftentimes have to continue in the face of losing their patriarch. The film, literally from the first scenes, deal with Chadwick Boseman's death in a figurative sense and also the the death of T'Challa in, in terms of the context of the film. So in this particular instance, T'Challa dies. And T'Challa has succeeded his father, T'Chaka, who also tragically died. And so now Ramonda has had to face two unexpected, untimely deaths. And from there, you see not only the nation rallying around the royal family and mourning, but also a collective response to the grief. And so now the Queen Mother Ramonda has to now come and resume her title as a leader that she had to assume when her husband T'Chaka died. Shuri is now next in line to the throne. Nakia is off somewhere looking for answers to her grief. The Dora Milaje now have an even strengthened resolve to protect their kingdom because they don't have the symbol of their protection going in front of them. And that mirrors so much of what we've seen in this country of Black mothers across the country who've lost a son, who've lost a husband, who've lost a partner, reeling from that and having to piece together the fragments of their family. Some of them have turned that into activism. If you look at the families of people like George Floyd or Botham Jean, these brave and courageous women, whether it's Botham Jean's mother and his sister, or even Ahmaud Arbery's mother, how they have had to rally together and to not only pick up the pieces of their family, but to say that we must do something as a society to be better. And Wakanda forever does that in a way in that you see these women having to deal with their own personal grief, but still lead a nation and have answers for people who have so many questions. What you see there is a powerful statement that has resonance even in our everyday lives, particularly in communities across the country. One of the things that Ramonda laments is that she lives in the most powerful nation in the world and could not protect her children. And I imagine that there are mothers across the city and across this country who have said the same thing. I live in the most powerful nation in the world and cannot protect my children from the perils that are outside of my home. And that is a particularly unique experience to Black people across the country who disproportionately face some of these various perils, whether it's state-sanctioned violence, gun violence as a whole, or other things like overexposure to COVID during the pandemic and the like that accelerated the pace of, of death for many. And it has this specter of death that circles the community in many ways. And so... The film is perfect for moments like this because it helps to capture what to do with your grief and how to begin to put together a life or manufacture a life once what you believed your life would be crumbles.